Good evening, and welcome to One Law Memorial Church Thursday Night Bible Study. Today is June the 9th, and we're in the fifth chapter of 1 Timothy. We're in the fifth chapter of 1 Timothy. Just back up to verse 16, and we'll start from there and go into verse 5. But sing our song. A charge to keep I have, a God to glorify, who gave his son my soul to save and fit it for the sky. To serve the present age, my calling to fulfill, oh, may it all my powers engage to do my master's will. Arm me with jealous care, as in thy sight to live, and oh, thy servant, Lord, prepare a strict account to give. Help me to watch and pray, and on thyself rely. By faith assure I will obey, for I shall never die. Amen. Father, we just thank you for another day, Lord. We ask that you come in. You say where two or three are gathered, that you would be in the midst. So, Father, we have the number, and we know we can do nothing without the Holy Ghost. So we ask that you come in and suck with us and help us explain some things or, or share some things that wasn't thought of before. We ask all these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 16 said, Take heed unto thyself and to the doctrine. Continue in them, for in, in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. It goes right into verse 5, I mean chapter 5, and it says, Rebuke not an elder. Rebuke not an elder. And uh, this is talking about an older man in the church of God. Rebuke not an elder. Now, we, we got this thing about being uh, giving honor to mothers of the church, and everybody does that. But that's why this was written. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. We, 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 need, we need some work in, in that area. With the mother thing, we got down. But uh, we, we haven't uh, really given the proper respect to the, the older men of our church. He says, uh, and the younger men as brethren. We got that. We, we do a great job of that. The elder women as mothers. Got that. The youngers as sisters with all purity. We work in that. We work in there. We work in there. We haven't got that down. We haven't got that down. We're working in that area. I was just reading in the newspaper about some negative things that I won't share, but it's talking about uh, with all purity, we have not entreated the younger sisters as sisters and the younger ones as daughters. We have not. We need some work in that area. It say, honor widows that are widows indeed. Now, what I did is took the uh, the widows in 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 in, in need and uh, explained that to a, a, a bunch of the members exactly what that means. If uh, if you are a widow and you have children, you're not a widow indeed. If you were a widow and you got brothers, and uh, you're not a widow in need, in, in, in need, indeed, excuse me, you're not a widow indeed. It says, but if any widows have children or nephews, let them learn first to show pity at home and to request their parents, for that is good and acceptable for Christ, before God, before God, before God. But uh, I, most of the, uh, the widows or the elder women at the One Lord, they, they, they've been made mothers of the church, and so they're taken care of by, by, the, uh, by, by members of the family here. Because I say there, if I call you mother, that means I'm your son. See? And if, and if they call me son, 
that means they're my mother. So it, it, it's, 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 it's the way that uh, we treat the family members is, is very important. It says, he says, but if the widow have children or nephews, let them learn first to show pity at home and to request their parents for that is good and acceptable before God. Now, she that is a widow indeed and desolate trusts in God and continues in supplication and prayers night and day. For she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she, is, while she liveth. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. That's uh, says that it says for itself. It says, and these things give them give them in charge that they may be blameless. It's, it's the, the, the the body is 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 is, is, is responsible for the elders in the house. But see, we can't. Uh, and uh, uh, what if they don't? What if the children and the, and the nephews don't? Uh, uh, and uh, I tell people just because uh, you have uh, these offsprings, see, the devil got children too. So if they are children of the devil, then they're not, they're not going to do what they're supposed to do. But the church sons and, and daughters of the mother will do what needs to be done. So they would, they would, they would, they would, they would serve, and strive in in that in that arena. He said, and these things give in charge. But she that liveth in pleasure mm, 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 may be blameless. But if any provide not for his own, and especially of those of his own household, that's fine. But the, uh, we also have a household in the church. But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. See? Well, they got, they got, they got, they got, they got kids. Let they, let they natural kids taken care of. But you call their mother. You call their mother in the church. So then why aren't you doing it? See? And he says, the Bible says, he says, uh, he says, he says, and he has denied the faith, and he's worse than an infidel. See? He's worse than a heathen. See, because he, the heathen may not know, but he knows what he's supposed to do. He knows exactly what he's supposed to do and, uh, and provide for, for, that, for that widow who, 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 who's in need. And these things give in charge that they may be blameless. Thank you, Jesus. He says, he says, a key, verse 9, let not the widow be taken into the number under three score years old and, and have been the wife of one man. And see, uh, if, uh, see, I use this as uh, to make mothers of the church. Uh, but I use 62. Uh, that's just a number that I use. And it says right here 60, and I use uh, 62. But if you ask uh, a lady under 70, uh, uh, calling her mother of the church, she, she would say, oh, no, I'm not, oh, no, I'm, I'm too young to be a mother. See? And so that, that means that they're unqualified at 70 to me, but uh, that's just me. He says, uh, uh, have been the wife of one man, he said, well reported of for good works. And she have brought up children, if she have lodged strangers, if she have washed the saints' feet, if she has relieved the afflicted, relieved the afflicted, if she have some diligent followed every good work, every good work describe a mother of the church to me. Well report of for good works. Say she's taken in large strangers. You know, a lot of women would be a little nervous about doing that uh, because of what some would say. 
But the younger widows refused, for when they have begun to wax want against Christ, they will marry. See, so they will marry if a, 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 a person still uh, wants to marry, then she doesn't want to be a mother of the church. She's looking for a husband. She said, have uh, damnation because they have cast off their first faith. And with all they've learned to be idle, wandered about from house to house, and not only idle, but tattlers also, and busybodies, speaking things which they ought not. A lot of times people there start thinking, you know, they, they, that's all they have to do is get in other people's business, uh, uh, wondering what to uh, go over here and listen to this conversation, go over here and listen to that conversation. They're busybodies. They don't qualify. They don't qualify for as a mother of the church. They don't qualify. He says, uh, I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. And, 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 and just that the, you don't have any idle time. You know, the, uh, the, the idle time is just a time for mischief to, to get in some other people's stuff. Uh, you know they don't have a they don't have a prayer time they don't have a, a study time they got a busybody time they got a, a phone gossiping time but they don't have a, a time it says I will therefore that the younger women marry bear children guide the house give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachful so you got other things to occupy your your time which you don't have time for for idleness you don't have time for idleness because it's a full-time job, uh, being a wife, a mother, and uh, you don't have time for, for those things. They said, he said, if any man or woman that believeth have widows, let them relieve them, and let not the church. See, that's fine. That's that, and, and I agree wholeheartedly. But if not, see, that we, we have, they always go with if not. He says, if any man or woman that be, that, that believeth have widows, let them relieve them, and let not the church be charged. That is, it may relieve them that are widows indeed. They don't have nobody but the house, but the church, but the church. And I just think any mother shouldn't have to worry about things like that. They shouldn't have to worry about things like that. What I'm going to eat, you know, I'm not going to have heat. I'm going to have a place to live. I don't think you should have to worry about things like that. As a as a as my lifetime uh, working in the church, David, I don't think he said, "Let the elders that rule well, Ooh, Lord, be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine." Talking about talking about preachers, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. And it is a labor. It is a, it, 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 it is a labor. It is a labor. It, but it's a labor of love. For the scripture said, thou shalt not muzzle mm, the ox that's tread out the corn. And the Bible makes very clear. If, uh, if, uh, if I give you spiritual nourishment, you should give me of your, of, of your physical earning. Uh, 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 that, that's what it's talking about. It says, uh, thou shalt not muzzle the ox that tread the corn. The labor is worthy of his reward. Be worthy of his reward. If I give you, if I give you spiritual food, you should give me physical. And, 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 and it's just plain, simple facts. That's dollars. He says, uh, for the scripture says, thou shalt not muzzle the ox that tread the corn. And the labor is worthy of his reward. Against an elder receive not an accusation, but before two or three witnesses. And I'm talking about the same, they saw the same thing. Don't come and say, I, I saw him jaywalking and, and, and uh, I, you know, I, I saw him run a red light. Uh, uh, no, no, the same. I, I, I saw, both of you saw him run the red light, two to three saw him run the red light. Two or three saw him do this. But they came at Jesus and they talked about different things, but they was counted as two witnesses or three witnesses. It says, uh, 
it says uh, verse 20 them that sin rebuke before all that others also may fear. Now I use this as uh, uh, dealing with uh, with elders at the church, talking about people who are ordained, ordained people, deacons, and stuff. And, and a brother say, uh, Pastor, you should have you should have should have talked to me in private. I said, No, you didn't do the offense in private. You did the offense in in the, in the church, so you should be rebuked where you did the sin, and uh, so others will know. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want to be part of that uh, that group. See, they they they'll see they, that uh, they were they were brought up before the church. He says, "Them that sin be rebuke all that others may fear." He said, "I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ and the elect angels that thou observe these things without with without referring one before another, doing nothing by." Partiality, and see, some say, "Well, you know, I, I like uh, I like Henry, so I'm not going I'm not going to do Henry like I did John." No, no, no partiality. They both they both should be rebuked in public, so they know not to do it again. See, they know not to do it again, and just like the uh, the pastor had his uh, his son come before the church and apologize for impregnating a girl in the church and the girl came forth and, and, and said that she was sorry for what she had done and uh, but the baby was still coming see he, the sin will be, ever be before you he said them that sin rebuke before all see your children too your wife too you, you know you too you too he says uh, he said the elect angels and thou observe these things without referring one before another, doing nothing by partiality. Nothing by partiality. They have to be rebuked publicly. He said, lay hands suddenly on no man. Neither be partakers of other men's sin. Keep thyself pure. And, 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 and uh, my pastor told me before, he passed. He says, he said, I think I laid hands on some people too early. And uh, I didn't say anything back, but he know that I had come to him and said, I don't think we should ordain this person. I don't think we should ordain this person. And uh, he told me, you, you never told me why. I said, you never asked me why. I would have told you if you had asked me, because he said himself. He said, lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be partaker of other men's sin. And when you're laying hands on somebody, you know when a person needs to work in an area. Uh, my pastor used to tell, tell us uh, when we were when we was in the discipleship training, somebody would ask him, say, well, Pastor, we've been... Uh, doing this for four or five years, when we going to be ordained? He said, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. He says, without referring one before another, doing nothing in partiality, lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be partakers of other men's sin. Keep thyself pure. Don't say no. Uh, 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 somebody come to the discipleship. We've been going for five years and uh, two years after they come, we, 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 we're ordaining everybody because this person needs to be ordained. No, no partiality, no, parti no partiality. Uh, you know, could have ordained, uh, ordained the five and, and told the one that he'd have to continue for a little while longer. Lay hand. It says, uh, and keep thyself pure. Favoritism. Keep yourself away from, from that. Uh, or I'm going to do something and uh, I know this person will correct what needs to be correct. No, they correct it first and then you lay hands on them. It says, drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake and thy own and thy often infirmities. That was uh, Paul talking to uh, uh, Timothy about uh, and, 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 and 
people have said a lot of things about this, that, you know, the water wasn't the best water and stuff like that. We know if you boil water, you'll kill whatever's in it and it'll be, it'll be fine. But Paul said, drink no longer water, but use a little wine. And so then some writers have said, well, uh, Timothy had a, had, a, had, a, had, a, had, a, had a stomach problem, and that's why Paul told him to drink a little wine to, for his stomach, for his infirmities. Some men sin. I just go about what he said. He said, drink no longer water, but use a little wine. That's what he said. <laughs> so we don't need to know why he told him to do that. We just need to know that's what he said. He said, some men's sins are open beforehand, going before to judgment, and some men they follow after. Now, that's God's business. That's God's business. Say, uh, well, why did so and so uh, have to uh, came right out, and this guy ain't nothing happened to him? God said, if if I tell him to tarry, if I tell him to uh, tarry until I come, that's not your business, and it's not. That's God's business. God, whatever God's gonna do is gonna be right. If if my thing, my sins came up beforehand and yours came up later, that's, 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 that's God. God know what he's doing. He said, likewise, also, the good works of some are manifest beforehand, and they that are otherwise cannot be healed. Okay? That's, that, that's, 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 that's still God. That's, that's, that's still God. Likewise, also, the good work of some are manifest beforehand, and they are otherwise cannot be healed. God business, still God business, still God business. It says, let as many servants that are under the yoke count their own master worthy of all honors. Let the, let, let, let the slaves as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honors. That the name of God and his doctrine may not be blasphemed. Whatever state, Paul said, whatever state you find yourself in, so you gotta find comfort. So you gotta learn how to, no matter, no matter what I am. He said, I know how to abase and I, and I know how to abound, see? Whatever it is, God is in charge. Whatever it is, God is in charge and he know what he's doing. You got to learn. I, I, I know when I was a kid, uh, I, I beans and, and cornbread, I, it, wasn't, it wasn't a delicacy to me and when I was a child. Now it is. Anytime my wife make up a, a pot of beans and some cornbread, it's a delicacy to me. I can eat it all week. And she said, babe, you going to eat that? I said, nope, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to have it for lunch today. I'm going to have it for dinner today. Because it's, 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 it's in it, whatever state you're in, whatever state you're in, if you can find joy and comfort, the devil can't find space. There's no space for the devil here. But if you, oh, why I gotta do this? Why I gotta do that? Or why this happened to me? Well, it's a whole bunch of things that could have happened to you that didn't happen. God held them back. He says, let as many servants that are under the yoke count their own masters. Somebody is always gonna be in charge. Somebody's gonna be the leader and somebody's gonna be the follower. If you, if you know how to follow, you'll definitely know how to lead when your turn comes. They, they go together. He says, and they that have believing masters. Uh-oh. Dun, 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 dun. It's kind of hard to be a believer of Christ and have slaves. And the slave says that uh, he's also a believer. So now you're your brother. Is, a, is, is, is under slave ship for you, your brother? Now, he said, let as many servants that are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of God and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren, but rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved partakers of the benefit, these things teach and exhort. A lot of people find fault in that. Why would God say that uh, 
I'm supposed to enjoy being. He didn't say you're supposed to enjoy being a slave. He says if that's your, if that's your, that's where you are, until something else be, bestow you. Be good at that. He says, be good at like that. He says, uh, and uh, he ain't changing. Let them not despise them because they are brethren. And see, I cannot have my brother a slave. I couldn't have my neighbor as a slave. But you see, I'm talking about a person who's, who's saved. See, so the, the, I'm, 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 I'm not talking about as a as a heathen man because I don't I don't I don't I don't know, but I do know as a saved man I could not do that. I would not have any slaves. My neighbor wouldn't be my slave. He says he says he says, and they that believe have believing masters. Let them not despise them because they are brethren, but rather do them service because they are faithful, and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. These things teach and exhort. Because God is in charge and, and God gonna hold everybody accountable. Whatever your circumstance are, he gonna hold you accountable. He, whatever you, see every, everybody got a master. <laughs> see, and that's what it's gonna come down to. Everybody has a master. If, if any man teach otherwise and consent not to the wholesome words, even the word of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. And it is. It is. It is. Because God is the one who changes things. God is the one that changes hearts. See? So God says, uh, told, 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 told Peter, no man told you this. See, God had to tell him that Jesus was the Son of God the son of the true and living God. He says, thou art the Christ. Thou art the Christ. See, you have to be told this. And, and, and God can only tell you if you if, if you who you say you are. He said, if any man teach otherwise and consent not to the wholesome words, even the word of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the doctrine, which is according to goodness, he is proud knowing nothing but doubting about question and strife a word whereof cometh envy, strife, railing, evil, submersing. He said that that's strife. He, 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 see, see, that that's the devil can only work where there's strife. He can only work where there's railing. He can only work where there's evil. See? If we give him if we give him no area to play in, he can't play. But see, we the one that do that. See, see, all we gotta do is what God says. He says that uh, we will do what's right. The ones who are of the family, the body of Christ, will do what's right. He said he, he is proud knowing nothing but doubting about questions and strifes and words. Mm. Don't give him play. Don't give him play. Perverses disputing of men, corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. And a lot of people think that. Oh, if I, brother, if I give 10, God going to give me a hundredfold. I said, well, maybe and maybe not. See, maybe you need help and not dollars. Maybe, may, maybe you need a change of mind and not dollars. See? Maybe you need to, 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 to have a, a change of spirit. Uh, 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 and, and, and see, God can do it. But he, he, he needs something first. Supposing that gain is godliness, for such withdraw thyself. And a lot of people, they, oh, I, 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 oh talking there that the, everything is about uh, uh, money, uh, position, and power. It sounds like the devil's stuff to me. It sounds like the devil's stuff to me. So he said, said, no. So you can see Jesus running around here, uh, walked everywhere he went. We saw him today. We say he was homeless because he said the, the birds of the tree have a nest and the fox have that. But the, but the, but 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 he has not a place to lay his head, and he didn't. Never. You won't find him owning anything. But godliness with commitment, of contentment, is great gain. Perverse disputing 
and the supposing gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. But godliness with, con with, with, with contentment is great gain. And, and when you find out that all you need is God, that's why the Bible says, seek you first the kingdom of heaven and all these other things God will give you. See? Because he owns everything. He owns everything. He owns everything. You know, when I uh, talk to the homeless sometimes and they tell me that they believe in God, and I question that because God says that none of his, you will not see none of his begging for bread. Now see, none of his begging for bread. But godliness with contentment is great gain. That contentment, you can't buy it. You can't buy it. Mm -mm. It has to be given to you. You can't buy it. He says, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we cannot carry nothing out. You came in, and that's the way you're going to go out. You came in by yourself. I don't care. You can have a house full of people. You still don't die by yourself because they can't go with you where you're going. Jesus told them that, uh, no, you can't go where I'm going. Hmm? Not now. Not now. No, not now. Not now. You can't go where I'm going. I want to go where you're going, Lord, but uh, I can't go. He says, uh, see, we have to teach health. We have to teach health. He says, uh, but godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we cannot carry nothing out. That's why we're stewards of what we have, and then we, that stewardship is taken over by somebody else because we're leaving. We're leaving, he says. Uh, and having food and raiment, let us be therefore content. God knows exactly what you need, and he will supply it. He knows you need food and raiment. <laughs> and uh, he says, and having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation. A lot of people say, I want to fall into temptation. I, I, I want to fall into temptation. Well, I'll tell you what this uh, rich man said that he can buy anything he wants he can go on vacation anywhere he wants to go and he wasn't happy because okay? things will not make you happy things will uh, I know that personally things will not make you they, they, for a short term they might, you may get pleasure from it but happiness you will not get you will not get it says uh, it says uh, it says, uh, being rich fall, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. That snare, because you can never get enough. That snare, he says, and into foolishness. I was watching some, a commercial, and I didn't really know what it was, but it was showing these kids playing with these computer games, and they're so caught up in it. That, uh, that, that this one girl says she don't even remember doing something because her, she was so intense and so on this thing that she was, she was uh, working her hands and she didn't even know what she, what she was seeing on the screen, what she was doing, but she wasn't aware of how, how she was doing. He said, but they that will be rich fall into temptations and a snare and to many foolish and hurtful lusts. Hurtful lust. All lust is hurtful. With drowned men and destruction and perdition. It is. You just it's like a it's like a puppy chasing his tail. If you catch it, you fall down. If you catch it, you fall down. See? You catch it, you fall down. So you keep trying to catch it and you fall down. He said, For the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covet after, they have erred from faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. The love of money, it'll keep you going 24-7. 
24-7 keep you going. You can't have time to, to do anything but you chasing. As long as it got, the devil got you chasing that carrot, he got you chasing that carrot. And you miss stuff. You wake up one day and you're this age. You wake up again, you're this age. And all these things have passed by. He said, but thou, old man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness. Flee these things. I was telling my wife, uh, uh, I know we're going to do it this month. I don't know what day. Uh, but I told her, no, we're going to go to uh, the islands and uh, go to uh, Taco Tuesday. And we get there on Tuesday and uh, we'll rest and come down to Taco Tuesday, do that, and listen to uh, the jazz they have that, that evening, go to bed, get up, go to breakfast or brunch, and uh, then go shopping. And I don't know if we'll go to a movie or not, but then we'll come back to the hotel and go to brunch on Thursday and then leave and come home. And then the next time we'll go, we'll, we'll go on the weekend and uh, have some, I'll have somebody preach Sunday and I won't even come back. He says, uh, he says, but thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. That meekness uh, was a stumbling block for me because my definition was in God definition. But once I got God definition, meekness is a person who's assured of themselves and they don't have to kick against the pricks. They don't have to prove anything because they're confident. In it. It's a fight a good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. That's the job. That's, I mean, that's the objective. That's the objective, to fight a good fight of faith and lay hold of eternal life, whereunto you are also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. This walk, this profession, that this calling that 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 we're we're we're, 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 we're coming after, it says uh, it says uh, I give thee charge in the sight of God, who quicken all things. And before Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession. Hey, see? And, and Pilate says, I find no fault with him. But I'll let these people decide. I'll let the people decide because I don't want them. And that's why it says, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, so. I give thee charge in the sight of God who quickens all things. Quicken. That quicken is to make alive, to make alive. He says uh, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ. That thou keep this commandment without spot. Without spot. He says, uh, uh, he says, uh, he says, uh, lay hold of eternal life where unto uh, to thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee charge in the sight of God. I give thee charge. He said, he said that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have to keep it. Thou, thou keep this commandment without spots, unrebukable. He said, which is his, his time, he shall show us the blessed and only Pontus of the King of King, he, Lord of Lords, who only has immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man has seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. I put a star by 17. Charge them that are rich in this world. Charge them who are rich in, that they be that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, 
who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Give us richly all things to enjoy. That they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate. And, and, and see, that was the, the thought of that rich man. He says, uh, I've done all these things since I was a child. What, what, what do I like? See, see, when somebody asks you what do they like, they know exactly what they like. I can't, I, I can't give up my riches. Because he told them, go and sell everything that you have. But he didn't tell him to go to the bank and take his money out of the bank. He just told him to go sell the junk, just all this, this junk is that, that you don't have to worry about and come follow me. He said, I, 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 I can't do it. He, he, he said, I can't do it. He said, he said, they that do good, that be rich in good work, ready to distribute. Now, see, oh, no, no, no. See, my money is, is, is who I am. Nope, the money is not who you are. He said, he said, lay up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come. See, there's something coming down the road that, uh, that God is preparing us for. He says, uh, he says uh, lay hold in store of, of themselves a good foundation against the time to come, and they may lay hold. That's the job. Eternal life. Eternal life is what's important. This little, this little 120 years is not life. That's, 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 that's not life. Life is eternal. We were made to live eternally, not, uh, and we all gonna live eternally somewhere. He says, uh, oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed in thy trust, aborting profane and vain babbling and opposition of science, falsely so-called. See, and that's another thing, uh, 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 I ain't gonna get into it because to me, uh, I, like, I, I like science, but there's so many hypotheses that I, that I made true. But you see, I set out to make it true, and it was true because I'm the one who's doing it. He says uh, that uh, opposition and opposition of science, falsely so-called, falsely so-called, which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Grace be with thee, amen. Which some professing have erred concerning the faith, grace be with thee, amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We ask that you continue with us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. We'll start in 2 Timothy when we meet again.